¡Que viva la Sérpere! ¡Que viva! Wait a minute, this is not the way to say it. You're not loud enough, you have to shout it out. ¡Viva la Sérpere! Try it. It sort of tells my age. I've been in the labor movement now for 54 years. I know I don't look like it, okay? But three years ago, the symphony was in crisis. The city and the county appointed a symphony task force. I was fortunate enough to be appointed by Judge Nelson Wolf to that task force. We worked hard. Those of you that know, that I was on that committee, no, and I, I dropped my, my notes. Uh, know that I spent weeks, and I think maybe months, trying to put it together so that the symphony could continue. I had a, one of the people that worked with me very strongly at the time, Catherine Weir Bale. You can boo if you want to. And she worked, she actually worked with me to make sure that we had the symphony back, we put it back together again, and the symphony exploded into the wonderful people that are here and that are now suffering the consequences again. We worked hard to make those changes. We worked hard to make those changes, to protect the jobs. They wanted to reduce the orchestra back, I mean the symphony back then, as well as they're trying to do today. Well, let me tell you something. Good wages, good working conditions, good benefits are the right of any worker, be they in the symphony or anywhere else. We need to put a stop, and I'm talking about, we need to put, put a stop to the thinking of these people that they can strip away those rights from you. They can strip away your job. They can strip away your benefits. Let's hear it one more time. Down with management that does not respect and trust the symphony with the work that they have to do. They should resign. No, no, no. We, need yeah. we need somebody that cares for the worker, that cares for not only the music that they give us, but the sacrifices that they have made over the years to make this a wonderful, wonderful, asset to San Antonio, Texas. I'm going to throw these away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be very short this week. You have to remain strong. You have to continue and we will be with you to pick it. We will win. And thank you, Councilman, for saying what you just did because the city and the county can help. They can help.